Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host, and welcome to The Lone Doctrine. I am your weekly dose of constructive food for thought. This month, we have been discussing the aspect of momentum, the importance of moving forward and taking action. The trouble is sometimes we have life obstacles that slow down our pace and can sometimes cause a complete halt. Last week we mentioned the idea of surrendering. When you've done all you can and you've put your best foot forward, sometimes the next thing to do is to surrender. Not give up, not lose hope, but trust your actions will pay off. But What else tends to get in our way of momentum? How about work that doesn't seem to be paying off? How about a long time of perseverance with no return? Have you ever worked on something so hard for so long and it just seems like you're stuck on a hamster wheel with little or no return? I feel ya. I've been there too. Sometimes I feel like I'm still there. So how do we recognize and change our perspective? It can be a heavy weight to carry when you feel as though nothing is working. You feel you're doing everything you possibly can. How could you possibly do more? The fact is, is if we're unhappy here and now, we're most likely going to carry that into our now and later. I'm sure you've heard the thought, even from me, Be grateful for what you have here and now. I'm very grateful for what I have here and now, but sometimes I feel like I could use a break. Someone could throw me a bone or something. What's that quote? Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Regardless, no matter what, there is always something to be grateful for. Read the book, a man's search for meaning, and you'll gain some great perspective. It's about a man who thrives and survives in a concentration camp during the Holocaust. You want real talk? Read that book. In fact, if you visit LoneDoctrine.com and click the goodies tab, Lone Doctrine listeners get a free trial to Amazon's Audibles. They have thousands of books, and it's the best way to take any and all stories wherever you go. Sign up today. It's most definitely worth it. I promise. It's awesome. Okay, so back to the topic at hand. How do we keep momentum even when we are grateful, but we just can't find the energy to take action? There have been times when I've been caught up in neutral, so to speak. I've worked and worked and worked and worked with little or no return. I sometimes find myself in a place where the negative self-talk starts to take over. What's the point? I create this and nothing happens. Maybe I'm not supposed to pursue this passion. Maybe the odds have finally won. I'm tired of working so hard. If you were to speak to me or meet me, you would have no idea that any of those thoughts and more were present in my mind. I'm not here to be fake. I'm here to keep it real. Those thoughts constantly go through my mind, but I work twice as hard to combat them. Everyone has ups and downs. No matter how successful or popular or how lucky you think they are, challenges are inevitable. You might think, well, why don't you just give up? When you're in the pursuit of your passion, a goal, or really creating change to make your life better, no matter how hard it may be, it's worth it. So what do we do when those thoughts come into our mind? How do we keep moving forward? Well, let me share with you some things that I do. First off, I don't give up. Even though you might have times where you just want to throw your hands up and say, I'm done. Don't. Perseverance is key. Remember when you're striving for something like a goal or a New Year's resolution or just making your life better, 
It's not a race. Life is a marathon. A little can go a long way. The more and more you do each day, the better and better your future will be. Most situations and challenges aren't permanent, and we have to try and remember that. I know it can be hard when you're in the moment and you're in a difficult season, but you have to remember that most situations and most challenges are not permanent. Another big thing I try to do is I try to recognize my thinking patterns. Is my self-critic taking over? What can I do to combat those thoughts? For every bad thought, I combat it with twice of the good. It might seem cheesy to you, but it becomes habit. And that's the idea. If you get in a habit of negative self-talk, that's what your comfort zone is going to be. So you have to allow yourself to practice making your comfort zone more positive. And most of all, remember that every setback is a setup. So keep moving forward. Most of the time, the main reason you've lost momentum is because you're standing in your own way. That's the harsh truth. So get out of the way. And in the words of Nike, just do it. In all honesty, sometimes it comes down to just that. Just doing it. Even just starting the momentum forward with one step at a time will make a world of difference. Today and every day, keep fighting the good fight.